Fleisch. An application for a patent on pigs. Es geht ganz einfach um die Einforderung von geistigen, von Lizenzen auf geistiges Eigentum. Are pigs an invention or the common property of all of us? Who owns the pig? Es geht um die Patentierung, um die Privatisierung von Gensequenzen. Genes on pig DNA, decoded and described by the Monsanto Corporation of America. But these genes have always been there. Will we soon be forced to pay fees for nature's heritage? It is a very, very big business plan, and it includes control of food uh, from the seed and the field to the fork. The politically charged patent is soon to go into effect worldwide. Christoph Zimmer, a farmer from Swabia, sees his livelihood in jeopardy. Is he soon to be prohibited from breeding pigs because their genetic material belongs to a corporation? Christoph Zimmer is now traveling through Germany with patent applications for pig genes in his briefcase. He wants to shake up the other farmers to protest against the sellout of life, as he calls it. Wie kann denn jemand ein Patent auf Dinge beanspruchen, die schon gibt? Da kann er gleich ähm, ein Patent auf Sonnenlicht äh, beanspruchen oder dass man hier zum Kinderkriegen ein Patent braucht und nicht dann Lizenzgebühren abführen muss. The discontented farmer believes that these piglets might also be affected by the patents the American agricultural concern Monsanto is applying for because the genes cited therein are not an invention but already exist in almost all pigs. As proof, Zimmer wants to collect some hair for a DNA test. So here can we the gene in the and Monsanto behauptet jetzt, wenn dieses gene here vorhanden ist, dann sind die Tiere besonders büchsig, besonders fleischstark. Es ist einfach so, zu wem ich auch gehe, da glaubt man das nicht. Warum sollte irgendjemand hier kommen können und ein Recht auf etwas geltend machen, das eigentlich schon lange den Landwirten gehört oder der gesamten Gesellschaft gehört? Und deshalb denke ich, ist einfach wichtig, dass man sich jetzt auf die Barrikaden stellt und man einfach auch sein Recht an seinen eigenen Tieren hat. Das ist die Existenz von mir und einfach von ganz vielen Landwirten hier in der Region auch. A field in Schwäbisch Hall is Farmer Zimmer's next destination. He wants to inform Marcus Betzelberg and his father Ernst to breed pigs about the patent applications brewing in faraway America. Hallo Ernst, hallo Marcus. Hallo the scientists at Monsanto claim in their application that certain pig genes promise more rapid flesh growth. If the patent is granted, Monsanto could in future also demand license fees for the Betzelberger's animals if this gene is naturally found in them and the farmers cannot prove that they didn't use Monsanto's patented breeding methods. Ja, das kann es im Prinzip nicht sein, dass unsere Tiere praktisch der Amerika amerikanische Konzern gehören und ja, mir im Prinzip die Tiere noch füttern dürfen und halten dürfen, aber die darüber entscheiden dürfen, was mit den Tieren passiert. Monsanto, company headquarters in St. Louis, Missouri, heavily guarded like the maximum security wing of a prison. This is where the idea for a worldwide pig monopoly was born. In the lab, scientists are hard at work on an ongoing series of new patents. The goal is worldwide domination in the field of food production. An annual sales volume of more than 4 billion euros is realized here. Up until now, primarily by means of genetically engineered plants and seed. These oligarchies, the world concerns, have ganz wenige Menschen, ganz wenige Gruppen, die haben eine Macht heute, wie sie nie ein Kaiser, nie ein König, nie ein Papst in der Geschichte der Menschheit gehabt hat. Und Monsanto ist einer dieser Weltkonzerne. Sehr effizient übrigens, unglaublich dynamisch, unglaublich vital. Das sind äh, Feudalherren neuesten Tippes. Monsanto began by manufacturing insecticides and later went on to genetically engineer the plants themselves for greater resistance. This allowed the plants to better tolerate Monsanto's own crop sprays. 
Of primary importance was that everything could be patented. Patenting is all about control, and Monsanto is all about control. You know, they're already the number one seed company in the world, and they control those seeds through patents, through government monopolies, so they and only they can use those seeds. The common heritage of the world, the seeds of the world, are now owned primarily by one company that has them in monopoly. The American Patent Office, USPTO. This is where Monsanto has submitted its pig patents for approval. The patent authorities are not yet prepared to issue a statement, but the decision on whether to grant the patent could set the precedent for how the other 159 countries where the patent application has been submitted will decide. The major question remains whether life forms should be subject to patents at all. Patenting living organisms is, is, sort of, is settled case law here in the United States, um, and I do it for my clients every day. This allows companies like Monsanto to take up a key position in supplying vital resources, involving the control and manufacture of food products. Now they are setting their sights on the pig, which hasn't even been genetically engineered yet. It's a very broad patent that would grant, if, if it's accepted worldwide, would grant Monsanto control of a significant percentage of all the pigs in the world. And here's what's so critical. The patent isn't just for the pigs. It's for the pigs' offspring. So Mother Nature works for Monsanto's profit. Every time pigs naturally reproduce, that is a violation of the patent that you would have to pay Monsanto for. In the Betzelberger stall in Swabia, Christoph Zimmer wants to obtain further DNA samples. In Europe, as well as in the United States, patents are not only being granted today for genetically engineered organisms, but also for naturally occurring animals, for example, lab animals. Every piglet in whose DNA inspectors find fattening gene markers could then be subject to licensing fees. How many of them are already affected? If there are too many, Zimmer says, the Betzelbergers might as well close down operations. A few pig bristles for the good cause. The farmers have never spared a thought for DNA structures. For decades, they simply crossbred according to appearance. Now, Christoph Zimmer only needs to find a lab willing to do the test. Not an easy task because even conducting this test infringes on patents owned by the American company. At the laboratory, it's best to remain anonymous because biotech companies like Monsanto have often sued for patent violations. This is big business. The worldwide market for pork is estimated at several billion euros. For Farmer Zimmer and his colleagues, a lot is riding on the test results. One of the most under-publicized actions of Monsanto with its patents is its persecution of American farmers. We have just completed a study that shows that they have threatened thousands of American farmers with lawsuits for violating their patents. That over 129 lawsuits have been filed by Monsanto against American farmers and they have reaped millions of dollars. And this is Monsanto coming in with its huge legal team, all of its power coming after a small farmer in South Dakota or Nebraska or in Indiana trespassing on their land, making up, in many cases, making up uh, uh, you know, lies about what these farmers were doing and not doing, persecuting them, and often driving them out of business. Uh, we have documented this. If this is what Monsanto will do to these farmers, imagine what they'll do to the farmers around the world. If this is what they're doing with their patents on crops, imagine what they'll do to, to farmers when they've patented the animals of the world as well. Ruined and convicted. Percy Schmeiser was sued by Monsanto for patent infringements worth several million dollars. 
they had discovered patented seed on the Canadian farmer's land. Schmeiser, a staunch opponent of genetic engineering, claimed that the seed had been carried onto his field via pollen from neighboring fields. But his protests were in vain. And it destroys the property of others, whether it's an organic farmer or conventional farmer like myself. It is wrong, wrong, wrong.